We talked a lot about about um, those who are fighting on the ground, and obviously there's a lot of fight going on, on the ground. Like the public is killing our people, like we've already said, and the British are just sitting and watching. There was an uh, there was a, a, a British MP that came and spoke. On the 7th of June this year, the Guardian newspaper ran a special feature on the brutal campaign of violence by the regime of Cameroon's President Bia against English-speaking communities in the west of the country, which were formerly known as British Cameroon, communities to whom we owe a historic responsibility. They quoted in the Guardian the ordinary men and women who saw their villages attacked by Bia's military, who saw their neighbours and family members killed, and that they were forced to flee for their lives. They quoted the charity workers who were looking after thousands of displaced women and children for whom they warned going home would be suicide. Now, by any normal moral standard, you would expect the UK government to read those reports and be appalled. But not this government. The very next day, after that report was published, the British Trade Secretary announced a £1.5 billion deal with a British national gas company and President Bayer's regime. A deal which, in the words of the Trade Department's press release, will, quote, generate a huge stream of revenue for Cameroon's public treasury. In other words, we have a regime ranked as the 25th most corrupt in the world, a ruler in his 43rd year of autocratic power, with a personal wealth of over $200 million, engaged in a systematic campaign of brut brutality and killings against English-speaking community in his country, and all the government can do is boast of doing trade deals which will only enrich him further. That, in my mind, is what this government means by Global Britain. Now, but having listened to, having listened to her, what do you think? Well, uh, she is questioning the British government on what the responsibility of the British government is. Is it just to go out and make money for the British people? Or the British have a responsibility as the trust uh, uh, administrator, the trusteeship administrator of our territory? Because it is the British who put us in this situation. So she is questioning. And I think the, the, there was another British MP that wrote a very powerful letter yes. in, in those days of... Uh, when they were debating this thing, yes. and he foresaw it was like he was living in 57 years later. Yes. Because everything that is happening today, he described it. Yes. And he said he was afraid. But because the British had decided that we are expendable, we are expendable, we are going to go, nobody listened to them, and nobody's probably going to listen to this lady now. But this is to tell us that there are people in the world who, who believe that we have been wronged. And we that wrong needs to be corrected. But it is up to us now to go out and create those alliances with those people and work for our liberation. Because though they are watching us and they are seeing what is happening. The BBC just recently ran a documentary on the killings in northern Cameroon today. And one of the senators here in, in America, Senator Mark Rubio, tweeted about it. So these things La Republic is going to be exposed. It is they are killing us, and they are using the images to kind of scare people and intimidate people, so people should give up because it is that is one of their strategy. Spread all the dead bodies everywhere so that it, their bodies are littered everywhere, and people can then back off. It is a strategy, and I want people to see that for what it is a strategy no it is a strategy because if you remember in in, in the 60s or 58 in in la republic they used to take heads and pin them on, on the on the side of the street so people in see. order to scare people yeah. but but um i i'm going to make this comment before i come back to the to the to the to the to the, to the uh, member of parliament in, in london have you realized that the more la republic does that the more they 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 kill our people and the more they 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 try to display uh, the, 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 their murderous act, 
it enrages our people more and the more our people are determined to get out of that of 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 of, of level barbarians yeah it, it gets it, it doesn't work does it direct opposite effect maybe the bamilikes and the basas uh, succumb to your to your barbarism but but we i learned that we know better and we will not compromise with evil and i uh, and i think the words of weba I, I, I'm thinking about them right now. That's what I was just thinking about that when my people shall rise. When the people will rise, even if you took the whole of the French army and added to yours, you will never bring them down. Yes, you can even bring the French army. And I, you, you, you remember they said some that there was a landing in Bafu today and there were French uh, white troops in there. Let them come. Let, let them the come. The Chadians are there. Let them come. But let me go back to what about to, to this MP lady. And you said it right that ambazonians should continue to fight the world is watching and they are getting fed up and la republic what is killing la republic right now is is they want to they want to get rid they want to end this thing really quick so that they can get away with murder and robbery but we are not going to give it to them you know what i'm saying but that lady you know she was reacting to uh, boris johnson who was bragging about the oil deal they've made with uh with la republic obviously from the resources of ambazonia mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and so she was and she said it just just right the british have a historical in fact the british put us in this situation and they do owe us they do owe us and let's just keep saying it because you know the british people are not the british government and i think sometimes when people get into government they assume some other evil spirit that is not necessarily shared by their citizens no you know what i'm saying yeah. which is why our citizens in britain and bazunians in britain they have done a wonderful job in 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 uh, in, uh, in demonstrating uh, uh, in public in speaking to to, to british uh, uh, leadership about our struggle i'm sure this particular lady she must have heard from a, from a lot of our people to start paying attention to this. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep doing it because we are winning. La Republic want to tell you that we that you're not winning. Oh, here are your people dying, but no, we are winning. Nobody nobody ever said that this was going to be a walk in the park. But we cannot pay this price and then let them claim some type of victory or go back to live with animals. We are not going to do that.